Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. Welcome again to Kali Haliakala. Haliakala, the house of the sun. This is, this is my last day today over here. After three nights uh, close to the summit over there, um, it has been three days of uh, fantastic, you know, energy discovery, uh, yoga, energy techniques, and all sorts of things, which are really the kind of things that I do when I'm in nature over here. Something I want to tell you about nature environments. Um, when you engage into into uh, uh, nature, you shift from being in a civilized environment to being in nature and uh, when you minimize the impact of uh, civilization and you spend a few days outdoor uh, you notice that something starts taking place which is kind of different than what you would face when you are in a city or in a house so um, those two environments you know nature and civilization are the two main environments we live in all the time you know you will be in a place which is either your apartment or your house or a city where there is a, a lot of impact from uh, civilization elements you know it might be electromagnetic vibration it might be the just the walls the electricity the um, you know the, the gear that you use the roads the technology the communication all that then when you shift to being in a civil in a nature environment then you have a totally different set of elemental force at play you know it's it's uh, the the rocks it's uh, the sea the water the rain it is uh, you know the all the, the the plants all the animals so all that starts reverberating and creating uh, an energy um, vibration in your system which is very different than what you have when you are in the civilized environment so in my experience it takes about you know three to four days to shift for your your energetic body to adapt to a new nature environment you know when you are in the city you are basically uh, getting used to this vibration and then when you shift to uh, to a nature environment it will take like three or four days uh, in my experience to uh, to get used to that at least for myself if you haven't been in nature at all you know and are not used to the to the natural patterns uh, then eventually it might take even longer you know uh, uh, for me I have a uh, training of having lived in the tropical forest for months at a time uh, being in the in the mountains being in environments in the Himalayas so I have been outdoor a lot for extended periods of time which makes me already in a way adapted to this kind of environments but if it's a beginning you know for you it might it might take a month it might take a month before you start actually feeling totally at home in the nature environment and the goal is really to to be able to to be in these spaces without feeling threatened by the energies you will notice that for most people what they do when they go on a day hike for instance they will go to the day hike and uh, you know be comfortable for a few hours to a day and then quickly feel the urge to go back home but what happens if instead of going back home you start you know eating uh, right in nature washing yourself in the rivers you know sleeping on 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 the floor on rocks or on grass uh, you see the, the contact with the, the, the soil and direct contact with the earth is a very powerful element you know when you are sleeping outdoor and you actually are directly on the ground or with a little mat but you are directly on you know what are the mountains they are uh, crystalline bodies uh, what is the, the the grass it's energy it's life force so when you do that instead of sleeping on um, <coughs> you know on a bed uh, with a mat uh, on uh, the third floor of a building then eventually you feel the vibration of the earth coming to you and reverberating to you uh, more strongly so this in this is in my experience by itself a very strong uh, mystical experience that you can uh, go through and um, enjoy any any time it's already powerful and of course once you are there you know and you start practicing energy techniques or doing invocations or prayer or you engage into um, uh, meditation practice or yoga 
or you do some martial arts or do anything that is going to activate your energy body in this environment, in this natural environment, then it uh, triggers even a high vibration. Eventually you start vibrating on a higher level. So this is what happened to me, you know, last night. Last night I feel like, you know, rising, 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 and then suddenly there is a peak of energy where there is uh, total synergy with the environment that is around me. And that's very powerful uh, mystical vibration. It feels like a state of unity. It's like reaching a state of, uh, of you know, the first steps of being in a state of yoga or, or a state of total unity. That's what happens after, you know, three, four days precisely when nature starts reverberating to you. Uh, you know, this environment was very humid, very wet over here on that side. I know that on the other side of uh, the other campground, it's uh, much drier. Look at the beauty in the early morning. See the mist. And I'm going down on on this track that you can see down there uh, towards towards the ocean, which is down there in the valley. It's very powerful and beautiful. I thank you gods and goddesses of these beautiful mountains and islands. Haliakala. Goddess Pele, goddess of fire and of the volcanoes. And um, I'm heading off to um, Kauai and uh, Big Islands, Big Island for more explorations. Take good care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.